Now this is the full downloader report. So it shows that 36 percentage is the significance level of similarity done on this date on this document and the source include is from this inflammatory glands Shodganga brochure say copy kiata. There are two instance instances that are there then coming down it will show you the full text difference. Now it is showing that the, this is the PDF it is copied and this line left side yellow extended line shows that these are the portions copied in the first block and next one. The, this is the second paragraph, paragraph available next copied before objective next one. So similarly it is showing that from this comparison of this. So any software this will be shown. This is the old interface we are seeing. Let me go to the new interface that also is very important trying to go back to the new interface. New interface is very simple. The matching test will show in the color. If it is one page, how much is copied is showing this block. This is one page. If five pages are there, can we, I uh, will I'll just take a report which is significant. This is one page with 10, 15 pages. Now let, it, let me take you into the new interface report. Uh, report is there now, analysis overview. This is having five, four pages. If you look at four pages, four total contain finding. And can you see the color difference? Wherever is that orange or yellow kind of color appeared, that is the copied content. The in first page, there are so many instances of copying. Second page, in fourth page, if you see, one big block is copied into top and a small block is copied. So this gives a pictorial representation of that where the copied content is available in a page. Very easy to find out and there is details are given here. There are 27 incident on the all four where with the similarity uh, and uh, you, uh, you can click on that uh, matching test. It will show you how. So it is showing previous highlight coming, coming down. You can insert quote also you can put it on so that we understand code bracket also we can put it on and now look at that document you see that UC UCB has gained acceptability on this from that and where from it is coming it is this uh, if you do not want to include this in analysis second matching test 93 percentage is matching in the second test popularity that is taken from NCBI. So this way if you click in the I can in exclude this first one I excluded this because I find that this is already cited. Now coming down, this all total similarity is 30 percentage here. So it's a, it's a document about pop, uh, paper Urkund and com coming down. The next highlights. I'm going to the next copied content. And next one, it is 84. Next one. It is again same that is from the same link. Next one, it is 100 percent match for this block from business talk. So you see this uh, link also. This is from web. W stand for, it is taken for web. And SS stand for source, alternative source. So this are out of 26, two I checked. We can go next highlight, next highlight. So you see next highlight, scroll down. Next highlight, scroll down. Now it is fourth source, 81 percentage. So all 26 line by line, I can check it and from where it is taken, I can even go to that. This is how the check, uh, how copied content appears in a report. So the entire document you can see, sources you will show, sources. Now the finding. Now it could be SM in school assignment. I made a mistake on that. W is web website, J is journal, and SA is school online. That means it is appearing from the student paper itself. So wherever here it is W, first source is W, second is W, web sources. Coming down, let us see that F W W all are web sources, Babylon, Babylon, Babylon. So these are uh, most of the content is taken from web only, uh, especially from NCBI website. Uh, it may be an article related in medicine. Coming down, coming down now that uh, so entire document. We are seeing that right now entire document. In entire document, it will show you where it is copied, where it is that, where uh, this is in bracket included and this is cited. Uh, easily you are getting that this is cited, unique uh, code out and uh, the other one is also cited, the first HC, so you can remove it. So let us say that this is bracket is 1980 size.
quoted. So, come here and this is already given. So, I would tell that this need not be included. Yes, next one. Click on that. The first one removed now. Second one, this is removed. Now, the second one removed. Second also removed. Third one removed. Because there are small, small changes. Like this, every paragraph, if you feel it is a small function or a formula, there, uh, as I mentioned, we can exclude few things such as few things such as like uh, uh, common knowledge, quotation, bibliography, all this can be excluded. References, all this can be excluded from the plagiarism check. And so, if a reference is showing a similarity, you can remove it here. So, that this provision is there in a, every software. This is how you are uh, removing the plagiarized content from the software. So, I am showing a case study of Urkun as an example for plagiarism check. Hi learners, the wonderful journey we started on July 15 regarding the research ethic course and today we end with the case study or a tool demonstrated to you online how to check plagiarism. So, uh, it was a wonderful journey all these days with about 15 to 20 faculty members with the various aspect of research ethics and I hope that we have. We have given so many reference link in each chapter. You have, I hope that you are reading it. And uh, if you are reading the textbook, text matter, e-text, plus if you are uh, learning from the video and going to the references, that finish the complete learning of research ethics. And I hope that you enjoyed it. I would like to get some of your feedback to my email ID or on the group of Swayam. And if anything is missed out, if you expected something better than this or some other module which you wanted to include in this, you can mention to us that is that and otherwise we conclude our research ethic course with the case study and demo of this anti-plagiarism software which was very essential for you. Many of you have logged in to see it. And there are sample reports available on website. You can see it or you can email it us. We will send you one sample report link for you to analyze this. So send a mail to us or put it in announcement or somewhere that please send us an uh, sample report. And I will send you a live report to you so that you can experiment with the result. So on behalf of the Soya Mock team, as a course coordinator, I wish you all the best for the examination on November 10th. And I hope that uh, you will come out with the flying colors in the text bed. And I'm very happy to tell you that this module is rated in the top 50 modules uh, as per the enrollment to the uh, examination. So there are about 183 students enrolled. Uh, if it is a university, they cannot take more than 40 students at one go for this course. But in MOOC, 2,200, 200 plus students registered for learning, 180 plus students registered for examination. It's a huge response as far as this course is concerned and we are committed to improve further. Uh, we hope that the day we started, we did not feel that we can include something like shows, Shuddhi, etc. But we try to include everything regarding this program and thank you very much for staying with us. Uh, I wish you all the best in your research and try to avoid plagiarism rather than checking it. That is the take home message. And the other message is to you is that be honest, be sincere, be ethical. Keep these three points in your so that academic integrity will not be questioned any time. When in doubt, cite it out. That is a message from this course modules. And I will be with you for your journey of research. Keep in touch with us. And thank you very much. I am signing off. I am Manoj Kumar, the course coordinator of research ethics. Wish you all the best.